Hey there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Fantasy for the Ages, the show where a father and son, who's not here today, talk about fantasy, science fiction, and other nerdy things that we enjoy. This is a Just Jim episode, a book blast, where I'm bringing spoiler light reactions to you on something I've read. If you enjoy this, we hope you'll like the episode down below, subscribe to our channel, leave comments in the comment box, and look for all the other ways in the show notes that you can connect with us, Discord, social media, email, even our Patreon page. Thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. So I'm talking today about Tagana. Wow. Okay, Tagana is a standalone fantasy novel by Canadian author Guy Gavriel Kay. I went into this story with some hesitancy. I'd already read Guy Gavriel Kay's The Fionovar Tapestry, which was really raved about by one of our patrons. Jordo, thank you again. I was pretty sure, classic fantasy tale, I would enjoy that trilogy. Unfortunately, I just didn't. I found out it wasn't my thing. It was hard to pin down why. You know, in general, I didn't like the writing. I didn't care for the way particular characters and incidents were portrayed in the story. Just overall, the tone of the trilogy did not work for me. I know there are many people who love the Fiona Bar Tapestry, but I'm not one of them. So, read something else by Kay? Little hesitant here. But there were people on our Discord server, supporters, who definitely were saying, no, 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 no. Tagana is different. People who had read both the Fiona Bar Tapestry and Tagana assuring me I should go for it. The Fiona Bar Tapestry was Kay's first published works, a trilogy that came out in 1982, 84, and 86. Then there's a gap of four years before Tagana is published, 1990. Okay, people are recommending I might want to try it. I, I like to follow people's recommendations, but I also was, I'll admit, intrigued that a wonderful fantasy story could be encapsulated in one standalone novel. This is not part of a collected set of works. It's not the start of an epic fantasy series of 10 to 15 books. You just got Tagana. One book. And yet, people rave about it. It was a hit, both critically and commercially. There must be something to it. So, all right, I'll give it a try. Now, having read Tagana, what can I say? It's tremendously better than the Fiona Var Tapestry, in my humble opinion. None of the issues that I had with that trilogy were present in Tagana. In fact, completely the opposite in some matters. Tagana itself, again, spoiler light, not going to tell you the plot, but I will say it takes place in a richly developed fantasy world, one which Kay creates with backstory, magic, drama, and intrigue, and does so in an amazingly succinct manner. Using very little words, he's able to really bring to life this whole rich history behind the events that we're seeing take place in this story. His choice of revealing the backstory in clever little ways throughout the whole book, skillfully done. That's some quality writing. The premise... The core issue of the story is, well, again, no spoilers, but imagine if someone could use magic to take something that was of great value and tremendous importance to you, to who you are, to what you believe in, and just make it so that no one knows it exists. It's as if, in the minds of everybody else, it never existed, and none of the impacts or effects it had are there. Everything that this thing caused to be, people now attribute to other things. It's just been erased from people's memories. That's what's going on in this book. And any attempt by the few people who do know of this thing, any attempt they make to communicate about it, falls in deaf ears. People literally just blank out. They cannot hear what people try to say. 
that is some devious magic. And it greatly impacts the people and the entire world that we meet. And not in a positive way. Deciphering the mystery and determining if and how this can be made right again is a primary aspect of the story. I never read anything quite like this in other works that I'd read, so the creativity was quite valued and thoroughly enjoyed by me. I'll also say I truly enjoyed the characters that Kay brings to life in Tagana, even the bad ones. And that's a huge contrast to the many characters that I could care less about or even actively disliked in the Fiona Bar tapestry. So I wholeheartedly recommend Tagana to any traditional fantasy fiction fan. It's worth checking out, and it might become a book you just absolutely love. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.